Despite the fact that there are big lists and plenty of serious organizations out there that are in the business of keeping track of animals and whether they exist or not, some sneaky creatures seem to be very good at hiding, sometimes for hundreds of years. From dogs with especially lovely singing voices to birds that nobody had seen since the 1600s, here are 20 believed extinct animals that are still alive. Number 20. New Guinea Singing Dog Since the 1970s, scientists had believed that there were no more New Guinea singing dogs left out there in the world, but that all changed a few years back. For decades, it was thought that there were only between 200 and 300 of these unusual breed left in the world, and those were all in captivity. But recent genetic research has given conservation biologists reason to believe that they were wrong and that the New Guinea singing dog is alive and well in the highlands of some of the oceanic islands. These unusual Unusual animals have an especially distinctive howl, hence their name, obviously. They're known for being tan-colored, medium-sized wild dogs, which are close relatives of the Australian dingo. Their closest relative amongst domestic breeds are the East Asian Chow Chow. In recent years, there were new sightings of the singing dogs in the wild, and even a couple of photos that began to indicate that there may still be some left in the wild after all. Then scientists began to analyze poos that were found in the area that the dogs had been reportedly seen, and they witnessed more of these dogs in the environment, photographing them as they went. The poo samples did not initially give enough genetic material to confirm once and for all that these were the singing dogs, so the scientists returned and collected more samples from the animals and finally got it all figured out. So yes, these singing dogs kind of came back from extinction, well, sort of. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. Here we have a little bit of wild speculation for you. Dinosaurs. And as it seems to be the standard at the moment, we're all apparently suggesting that people think that Russia might be up to something a bit shady, but with dinosaurs for some reason. Anyways, what in the world do you think is going on in this picture? Scientists believe the last living dinosaur could be hiding here. Do you think that Russia is meddling in Jurassic Park style stuff? And what might they be up to? This is of course, bananas speculation, but have fun with it anyways. As always, be sure to comment down below using the hashtag fancy topic and let us know what you think about all of this nonsense. Number 19. Kangaroo Rat Apparently, nobody had seen hide or hair of the San Quentin kangaroo rat since the 1980s. It was declared critically endangered, possibly extinct, in 1994. So you can imagine the surprise for biologists who accidentally caught one of these creatures in their survey traps back in 2017. It would appear that the old kangaroo rat was not dead and gone after all, but merely keeping a low profile, which would seem a really rather sensible idea when you consider just how many things are always trying to eat it. These rats are an important species in their natural habitat in the arid areas across the western part of North America. They're known to disperse seeds through their habitats as well as being an important part of the food chain and historically significant in feeding bigger animals like foxes and coyotes. Kangaroo rats get their name from their ability to jump like the aforementioned kangaroo. They seem to have made a bit of a comeback from what appeared to be the brink of extinction. Scientists who have studied studied them believe that this is likely the result of a decrease in farming in the area as a result of water shortages. These robust little mammals seem to have defied all expectations, so it gives conservationists hope for the future of other endangered or believed to be extinct small creatures. Number 18. Pygmy Tarsier the smallest and rarest primates in the world, pygmy tarsiers were believed to be extinct since they were last seen in 1921. But these are another species that has made a surprise comeback in more modern times. In the year 2000, an expedition of Indonesian scientists headed out to the highlands of Sulawesi in Indonesia. Unfortunately, they seemed to have accidentally captured and then killed pygmy tarsier. Whoops! They were lucky that there were a few more to be found in the area, though. A group 
group of American scientists headed that way the year after and found a couple of males and a female pygmy tarsier, and they attached radio collars to the rarest of creatures so that they could track their movements. These nocturnal creatures have soft fur, which is gray or kind of buff-colored, and long tails. They appear to be a rounded shape because of the way they cling onto branches, all kind of scrunched up, but they actually have slender long bodies and long hind legs. The most distinctive feature of tarsiers, perhaps, is obviously their big round eyes, which are set in their very round faces. Considering the diminutive size of the rest of them, the eyes are absolutely enormous. In fact, they have the biggest eyes in relation to their body size of any mammal out there. Each eyeball weighs almost as much as its whole brain. They also have a special skill. They can spin their head a full 180 degrees in each direction, almost exorcist style, or, you know, like an owl if you prefer a reference with a less cursing and vomiting environment. Number 17. Elephant Shrews For 50 years, nobody saw a Somali elephant shrew. They were believed to have been lost long ago. But then suddenly up, they popped again, seemingly out of nowhere. Researchers who were working in the Horn of Africa came across these miniature mammals with the long trunk, much to everyone's surprise. The elephant shrew also goes by the name Singe. They are easily recognizable by their long trunk-like noses, to which they use to root out and eat insects. There are 20 different species of them in the world, and they're not actually shrews at all, but seem to have been lumbered with that name regardless. These Somali shrews are not even only found in Somalia, as was previously thought, so even that part of their name is kind of wrong. Although they are not elephants, obviously, they're apparently somehow related to aardvarks, elephants, and manatees. So there you have it. Another species, apparently resurrected from extinction, so what could possibly be next? The dodo, perhaps? Or maybe Diplodocus? What do you fancy seeing return from the dead? Number 16. Kashmir Musk Deer well, no, it has nothing exciting as a dinosaur. Actually, it's just a boring old deer. This time we have the Kashmir musk deer, which is a small animal that has the unusual feature of vampire-like fangs. Despite the fact that people thought that the old Kashmir musk deer was all extinct, well, guess what? It was magically rediscovered in the eastern forests of Afghanistan over 60 long years after anyone had actually seen one in the country anywhere at all. There are a bunch of these kinds of musk deer, seven species apparently, and they're found mostly in the Himalayas, Siberia, and Central and Northern Asia. They live in forests and never wander far from home, which perhaps suggests that they were this particular location all along, but people just didn't look very hard to find them. Number 15. Giant Palouse Earthworm a species of earthworm known as the giant Palouse earthworm, or sometimes the Washington giant earthworm, which was discovered back in 1897 by a guy named Frank Smith near Pullman in Washington. These worms were generally found living in the Palouse region. I see what they did there with the name. Oh, how clever that is. It's in eastern Washington and North Idaho. Back in the 1980s, this big old worm was generally believed to be extinct, but there's new evidence suggesting that the species is still alive and wriggling around. It would be a bold claim to say that a creature that lives entirely underground could be extinct, unless of course you were going to be able to confidently dig up all the places that it might ever live, and therefore be able to determine that there were definitely none of these creatures left anywhere. But there you go, it seems that they may have jumped the gun on this one, because lo and behold, popped up a surprise earthworm to give everyone a bit of a fright. The latest sightings, which were back in 2010, would unearth a couple of these regular an adult and a juvenile, and for some reason the University of Idaho, in all of their infinite wisdom, took them away as specimens. Let's just hope there are still enough of these big fat worms left underground to repopulate the earth. Number 14. Crested Gecko 
This is a bit of a weird one. The crested gecko went from being presumed extinct to being one of the most popular pets in the whole wide world. Although I don't think they're yet rivaling the friendly old golden retriever in the popularity department just yet. Less than 30 years ago, this crested gecko was presumed extinct, although I'm beginning to wonder just how they decided that something's gone forever. Is it like when a toddler walks into a middle of a room looking for a lost toy, announcing almost instantly that they can't find it. So apparently after being extinct for a bit in the 80s, the crested gecko made a miraculous return to life and suddenly wound up being the reptile pet owner's favorite sort of lizard, if you can credit it. These creatures hail from the South Pacific, more specifically from the French territory of New Caledonia, which is located about 900 miles to the east of Australia. These wild crested geckos can be found hanging about on the southern tip of the main island, but don't just go and steal one from there and stuff it in your pocket. That's not allowed. And anyways, these reptiles are bred in captivity for the purposes of pet ownership all over the show, if you like that sort of thing. Number 13. Hula Painted Frog I don't know about you, but I'm beginning to notice a bit of a pattern here. Animals are believed to be extinct for a bit, or humans are especially rubbish at observation skills, and then one day, usually decades after the extinction is official, the long dead animal then pops up again looking distinctly not extinct. That does seem to be a recurring event in these tales of reanimation, doesn't it? And here for your lucky old eyeballs is yet another one of these exact same stories. Wahoo for you! This time we have a species of a frog that has made a surprise appearance 50 years after the declaration of its deadness. The Hula Painted Frog was a resident of the Hula Marshlands in Israel when the marshlands were drained by the government in the 1950s because of the mosquitoes that were breeding there and causing malaria to murder everyone. One. That was no doubt a bit of a bummer for the frog that lived there, but apparently it didn't just lay down and die as everyone thought that it had. The hula painted frog then resurfaced over a half century later and made everyone jump. Well, maybe, I mean, who knows really. But whatever, there are only so many of these near identical tales that I can be bothered to listen to, right? Do you fancy having a massive row about something in the comments down below? Because we can stay on theme and get angry about humans' behavior destroying animals' habitats, or we can branch out and get into whatever you're mad about today. Fill your boots up and get angry. Number 12, Australian Bandicoot. Although this does sound like a made-up word that was silly enough for a daft video game, apparently the bandicoot is a real thing. They're nocturnal animals that were once extremely common on the grassy plains of the area around southwest Victoria, but guess what? Humans rocked up with all their cats and trash, and then the foxes moved in, and lo and behold, the bandicoots were just getting murdered by pets and pests until there were almost none left at all. When you add to that that a massive loss of habitat elsewhere occurred due to the expansion of farming, it looked as though these creatures didn't stand a chance against all that human vandalism. These animals are marsupials, like a lot of Australian creatures are, for some reason or another. An eastern barred bandicoot was actually believed to be extinct in the wild for over 30 years. It appears though that this time, the resurrection of the species may be primarily the result of breeding and release programs that are run within Australia, all to improve the chances of animals that have received the critically endangered kiss of death label. Number 11, Black Leopard. Sometimes animals are so super rare to begin with that it's not so much a case of them being extinct, but rather that they're rarely ever born and may never be captured on a camera all on the account of their utter uniqueness. The beautiful and extraordinary black leopard is one such creature. The last time that a true black leopard was officially and scientifically documented was all the way back in 1909. So when one of these remarkable animals would be spotted <coughs> in central Kenya in the beginning of 2018, it was a surprise for everyone involved. This big black cat started out as a rumor, so biologists went out and set up camera traps all about, and then reports started to be made. It was worth their while as the cameras soon began to capture images of one of the rarest creatures, the black leopard. These animals are leopards like any other, but with one key difference. They have a rare condition called melanism, which means that they produce an excess of pigment. The video determined that this leopard was a juvenile female, which was seen with a larger, regular spotted leopard 
presumed to be her mother. Number 10. Lord Howe Island Stick Insect, Tree Lobster Well, here we go again, just when they thought that it was all over for Lord Howe Island Stick Insect, the cheeky little thing popped up again. Perhaps it was just doing a really good job of looking like a stick, which is, after all, a fairly significant design feature for these bugs. Back in the day, these stick insects were found in enormous numbers all over this Australian island, but the introduction of very naughty black rats over 100 years ago was put to a dampener on the existence of the miniature beasts. They were driven to the brink of extinction by the ravenous black rats. In fact, people thought that they were extinct, same as all the others really, until they would then be rediscovered in 2001 hiding out on a volcano outcrop called Ball's Pyramid, about 15 miles off the coast of Lord Howe Island. Now, there is a very small population of these critically endangered wingless nocturnal insects left, and it's estimated that only about 20 or 30 of these stick insects exist at all right now. But there's a program to resurrect the species at the zoo in Melbourne. Hopefully no greedy rodents catch wind of the buffet, though. Number 9. The Naked-Backed Fruit Bats of the Philippines These are the bare-backed fruit bats, or naked-backed fruit bats as they're interchangeably called, that are native to the Philippines and the surrounding islands. These are a relatively big bat, and in the past there were so many of them that they left these colossal poo mountains everywhere. Their guanu, the word for bat droppings, was so abundant that it was used as fertilizer all over the islands. Anyways, fast forward in time to the present day, and the numbers of these once plentiful creatures have dwindled so drastically that by 1996, the bare-backed fruit bat had been declared extinct by the IUCN. That's the International Union for Conservation of Nature. This rapid decline and supposed extinction was the result of most of their forest habitat being replaced by sugarcane plantations. Again, humans doing dumb and greedy stuff. Anyways, to cut a long story short, they would be rediscovered in the year 2000, and the species apparently lives on, in very small numbers at least, in an area of forest in Cebu, which is protected and cannot be chopped down. It is totally bizarre, however, that these bats are also hunted for their meat. I mean, how much meat is there on a skinny old endangered bat anyway? Number 8. Goblin Shark the deep-sea-dwelling goblin shark is like a nightmare combination of frightening alien face and squashed dinosaur shark. It's actually very horrific. But I shouldn't judge something on its appearance, I know, that's not exactly fair. But are these guys as scary as they look? Well, let's find out. With a long snout on the top and a set of very sharp teeth on the bottom, this shark seems equipped enough to do some predatory stuff. It has a weird technique for catching its prey. The goblin shark can eject its jaws and send them out in a dangerous snapping motion to grab the passing prey, and then it'll simply reel its jaw back in and scoff up the catch. It's spooky. This long-nosed shark is actually, and mercifully, much, much more lazy than any other shark. The sluggish behavior means that it's not likely to expend a whole lot of energy in a high-speed pursuit, and given one look at the freaky fish, no doubt you would be able to outswim it based on fear alone. Oh, I'm glad that one's finished. These guys give me the creeps. Number 7. Eastern Cougar how can something that seems to have never existed become extinct? Well, that is a good question, and one that can be leveled at the vaguely, although not very interesting, story of the eastern cougar. Back in 2011, the subspecies of the cougar known as the eastern cougar was declared to be extinct by the United States Fish and Wildlife Service, or the USFWS. The trouble with this announcement was that those that figure out the classification and names of such things said that there never was any such subspecies, and they argued that these cougars that once hung around in the eastern parts of the United States were, in fact, no different from any of those that roamed anywhere else in North America. Tricky for the old extinction declaration, given that there were still cougars elsewhere on the continent. Anyways, they seem to have changed their minds and removed the eastern cougar from the extinction list. Number 6. Pinocchio Lizard 
Now, honestly, there's no fibs here. The Pinocchio lizard is turned up again in the forests of Ecuador over 50 years after it was declared to be extinct. This creature had not been seen since the 1960s when it finally poked its nose out in public again in 2005. And although that is no lie, it is hardly a massive surprise given the way that this list seems to be unfolding, is it? Here we go again, some species somewhere that people can't find anymore, declared to be extinct, decades past and then people find the said species again and the species is declared not extinct. Ho-hum, this tune's getting to be rather tedious. Although, obviously, it is a good thing that these animals are still kicking, I will reluctantly agree with that aspect, I suppose. The Pinocchio lizard has a long nose. Actually, it has a hilariously long nose. So perhaps it was just fed up with all the other lizards being rude about its massive hooter and decided to make itself scarce for a while. Wherever it might have been concealed, there's no doubt that lizard enthusiasts are thrilled that this beaky individual has made an unexpected expected return to life. Number 5. South Island Takai the Takai is a bird that's native to New Zealand, and guess what? Yes, it staggered back from the brink of extreme, much to the delight and surprise of everybody who gives a chuff about such things. It was obviously believed to be extinct for a full 50 years before anybody noticed that these funny flightless birds were still wandering about on New Zealand's South Island. It does boggle the mind somewhat to try and understand how all these different animals seem to have gone completely undetected for so long, but there you go. Some stuff is apparently more robust than we give it credit for, and humans are considerably less observant than we may think. These birds were found living in a small part of the mountains, and since the rediscovery of the species, there have been efforts by conservation people in order to help give the population a bit of a boost with a bunch of programs, mainly consisting of monitoring the creatures and ensuring that their environment remains safe and predator-free. Number 4. Coelacanth However you may look at it, this is a crazy tale of an ancient massive fish that literally returned from the dead. Less like a zombie, perhaps, but still a bit of a surprise to people who spend their time looking at fish and other such sea dwellers. The African coelacanth managed to keep itself so well hidden that it was believed to have gone extinct over 65 million years ago. Then, one day in 1938, the coelacanth popped up again, and everybody had to go back and rewrite all those encyclopedia entries. Although the coelacanth lives at the bottom of the sea, these creatures are pretty hard to miss. They're about 6 feet long, weighing about 200 pounds, and they are really weird looking as well. They have extremely thick, scaly skin and have four fleshy fins that move like limbs and land animals. Scientists had thought that these creatures could explain the transition of animals from the sea to the land. These ancient behemoths are certainly still swimming the oceans of today, but their ancestors were doing so way back along, about 360 60 million years ago. That was an era when there were no large land animals, and only big ocean-dwelling creatures and those ancient seas were so stuffed with fish that it caused a mass extinction. Up to about 87% of the fish in this period actually went extinct. And so, the African coelacanth, descended from these fish, holds some incredible stories in its scaly body. And it sure does make me wonder what else could be out there. Perhaps there's something to those Loch Ness monster stories after all. Number 3. The Venomous Cuban Solenodon now this is one creepster of a creature, an oversized shrew-like mammal that's only found in Cuba. In fact, it was believed to have disappeared even from there, but has mysteriously reappeared all alive and stuff. This species is actually so very old that it sometimes is described as a living fossil, which is actually a bit rude, I think. Anyways, this mammal is furry and approximately 30 centimeters long, or 12 inches if you prefer. It's got an unusual feature that adds to its nightmarish credentials. It is venomous. That's right, the animal has venomous saliva that it injects into their prey with their teeth, but despite that fact, they have this secret weapon. Solonodons seem to find it especially difficult to defend themselves against dogs, cats, and black rats, so they went the way of many species who were suddenly at the mercy of such 
much another invasive species. They all died in droves. They died so much that people actually thought they disappeared from the planet completely. But surprise, surprise, they're back from the dead and as creepy as ever. Number 2. Australian Night Parrot just how a brightly colored bird managed to elude detection for 50 years is beyond me, but that's just what the Australian night parrot did. Probably shouldn't all go poking your noses into its business then. I would imagine that the bird's secretive behavior is a clue that it likes to keep to itself. In 2017, the first photograph of the night parrot would be taken in Western Australia. This came quickly on the coattails of several sightings since the bird had been officially rediscovered back in 2013. Although no science people had laid eyes on the bird for decades, it was never listed as extinct as there were occasional reports of sightings of the night parrot in the years when it was lost. This was largely considered a second chance to protect this elusive species for future generations. Unfortunately, there are a whole bunch of other animals that went extinct already and will never get that second chance. Seriously though, people have really sucked at taking care of animals for so long. Extinction is pretty much always a result of dumb human activity, either literally hunting a creature to extinction or destroying its habitat or even hunting the animal's prey or chopping down its food source. You know, really dumb behavior. So fingers crossed for the night parrot then. Number 1. Bermuda Petrel Like the long-dead dodo, the Bermuda Petrel was an island-loving bird that got into trouble as soon as humans poked their oars in. All the way back in the 1500s, this bird found itself under the threat as Spanish sailors stopped at the island, brought pigs and rats with them, both of which scoffed the Bermuda Petrel and its eggs with wild abandon. So just a few short years later, when the British began to settle on the island during the 1600s, the Bermuda Petrel was declared extinct. Now, the bird seems to have made a more remarkable recovery from death than even anything else that we've seen today on our list. To resurrect itself across so many centuries seems unlikely to say the least, and has been named the Lazarus species, because in 1951, 18 nesting pairs of this long-dead seabird were discovered. Remarkable, and perhaps a sign that there's some hope for those species that are struggling on the edge of existence right now. Well, that's it for all the resurrections today. Were you surprised by any of these rediscoveries? And what may be next? Will someone find that dodos have been living this whole time in Iowa, but nobody noticed? As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.